Alright, we got the AC box. And, uh, it isn't as easy as it's going to look. It's been probably, I don't know, what do you say, 30 minutes to an hour of sitting here and scraping and trying to get all the glue out from between it. To make this come apart, you got to kind of work it out of here. And she's binding up again, a little bit of twerking back and forth. And <laughs> she gets tight in this box. A little bit of wiggling and there she is, she's out. But uh, here's the unit. Get the box out of the way. We're gonna go over the unit. Now, we're fortunate. The inside of this unit is clean as can be. Nice, lubrication in it was good. Everything's checking out that way, so we're gonna go through, clean it, reassemble it, completely recondition the outside box and insulation. But, yeah, this AC unit, it's, it's big enough to do my office. I mean, <laughs> it's a lot bigger unit than any car I've ever seen. I mean, I understand it's old school, but she's cool. All right, here we go on an AC box. A little, little rough. Um, I'm trying to remove the screws around it. Um, They've been soldered in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom in real quick. Let you see the one screw. You see the one screw is soldered, completely gone, and the other screw is visible. We took and uh, heated it up, scraped out all the solder, and heat them up to be able to remove them out of there. When they put the bezels, little bum fittings in. These little bum fittings that go in here, all these in. They solder it all in with the screws, which is all right. It was never meant to take apart, you know. It is 2015, and that fuzzy little object over there is the. Here, let's see. Yeah, 1954. So it's been a long time. It's got a right to be stuck in there. We'll have it out in a little bit. Well, there's the unit out. She's actually a pretty damn good shape. Everything clean inside. Uh, we're gonna clean all the fins out, redo all that, clean all those pieces up, redo the solder and the base to it and the lines. Um, do all checks on it. And as you see, the, the box is right here. That'll be completely taken apart and conditioned. And the same with the other box that's right here. Uh, both boxes are right there and they'll be reconditioned that's where we're at a little bit well this is the inside of the back piece for the air conditioner duck work and uh, it's removing all the old tar base stuff and uh, we'll spray new one when we go and clean it off and just kind of get rid of all the the rotten stinky smell and uh, all the other parts and these are getting redone and little rubbers and all little mechanisms redone to her get all that little flapper all that rust and mouse key down in there we'll get all that going all right let me come over here Here's the other pieces to the ductwork. They've been glass beaded, and uh, I'm getting ready to hang them all. And that's been put into epoxy already. Uh, nothing else is going to be done to that. It's going to go back inside. It's what holds the coil and everything in it. And then it, it's fitted and, and placed inside of this. Um, and then these are the, the fronts. Go on the firewall. I just wanted to show you to give you a real nice look at the texture and putting that texture coating back onto it. Um, mine might be a little smoother and nice looking. It's because what we used is Rhino liner. Well, what we used is a bed liner, epoxy bed liner spray. And it's activated spray and it, it makes a real nice finish and it'll give a good insulator to it. And uh, you, you see what it looks like. 
And then uh, I know this piece isn't supposed to get it, but uh, this is covers the heater core box. Now I do inside and outside of it and everything this way. And for the reason, it, it'll last forever. This rubber coating with the epoxy and everything that was underneath of it, and then it's etched and this is put on, it won't ever rot. You, you could have water leakage into it, you won't have to worry about it again. Uh, the same thing will be done to the inside of this, and then it gets that foam insulating pad. So, uh, all right. Well, today we got a seemingly new looking gas tank for the 54. However, just took the sender out. It looks pretty nasty. Get some time. Kind of growth on it. Yeah, we'll get her cleaned up. See it good now. Okay. About to dump out our heater core. It's pretty full of rust. Been cleaning out, second soaking with vinegar, regular mild acid overnight. Now I'm going to fill it with a baking soda. Neutralize the acid. You might be able to see the rust coming out of that side. got a pretty big pile of muck for cleaning this heater floor out. That's after almost two gallons of water. We finally got her run clear. A lot of shaking up. Well, here's the science experiment. That should settle out in a couple days. See all the different crap that's in it. So for now, these are the 54 Buick parts. This is the heater cover. We're going to put this in epoxy primer and put it in your thing bed on it and put a, a texture coating on it so it's going to protect it. This is underneath of the vehicle and uh, it's all been glass beaded. Uh, all the coils have been redone, all the little fittings, everything else. And uh, ended up welding some pieces onto this and fixing some things that were wrong with it. And uh, it's all ready to go. I'll show it to you when I'm done. Yeah, today I'm just putting together the AC plenum box that I call it. The air intake that mixes the, the cooled air with uh, recirculated air and possibly fresh air in the summer. There are settings on the side. I'm going to be putting these on in a minute. I got to put the sensor. It's got a temperature sensor. It's got to be bolted in here too. So I'm going to get that done and we'll get back. Uh, I just got the heater the heater core back inside the 
defroster box. Got that all ready to go. Finish putting all the blowers together. Got them ready to go. So we're gonna get the heaters all installed here pretty soon. Hey, there you go. Finally got the plan them all put together. Ready to go on the rest of the unit once we get that together. Well, here we go with some of the first piece of Donna Mac going in. Well, as you see, the floor is getting dynamatted. 90% of the floor has been done. I have a couple places where I got to go back and put a couple little scab pieces where I had to stretch it into some of the little valleys and stuff like that. But other than that, yeah, that's about it. I'm going to take this and I'll go on down and I'll be doing, well, I can't get the pitch. There we go. I'll be doing the ceiling up there. And uh, I'll show you the ceiling as we do it. I didn't go above this line where the jute board's going. Um, I wanted to get it in and go over its thickness and everything with the place. It's a, it should be a pretty thick material. Um, so I don't, I don't know what, how much dynamite I want to put up on top. But uh, we'll deaden every, every bit of up here in the corners and, and other places. But there it is. We've used it all. I gotta get more for the, the door, so um, we're pretty close with what we ordered for the inside. Uh, we got all the way to this top being done, and it's all sealed. Um, and we have this section here to, to continue on to in the back. Uh, we're not gonna do inside the trunk every bit of it. Uh, we want to look at the covered mat and everything else because you'll be that'll be open and visible and uh, we will have our covers and everything else in there but we want to look at it all first how much we're going to actually cover back in there but anyway there she is heating unit is all in place going to be hooked up underneath it's turned out very nice a few last things to do and uh, it's in place uh, a lot of people don't realize how much time goes into these components these all these little components and stuff oh a comment I gotta make uh, the owners made a couple comments to let you all know this is not going back AA CA spec original or Concaris um, it is totally original in lots of ways, but adding Dynamat will be covered up by the carpet, will add to insulation and sound deadening and resistance of heat. The same with the ceiling. Everything will be done that way. Same as putting Stone Guard and Urethane and Bed Liner inside of this and outside of this. This car is going to be driven from one side of the country to the other for quite a few years. So... This is an interesting situation. When I did the seat motors not long ago, I noticed that one of the brackets on the uh, horizontal adjustment motor didn't have an E-ring on it. There's a little groove here where you put the E-ring, told the 
motor on. Well, come to find out, they messed it up from the factory. There's a piece of metal here that's causing this to not go on all the way. Thus, you can't put the E-ring in. So now I gotta fix the factory's mess ups too, which is common amongst cars. Thank you.